Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready. Hi everyone and welcome to a pickups video. It's mainly related to the video uh, montage that I've just shown you. That were taken a couple of weeks back now uh, in Rotherham and Sheffield and me and Pete Fighter 2 and Eddie of Roller Car. Um, we met up and basically went around a few shops in Rotherham and Sheffield, game hunting. As you do. Um, I really enjoyed it, had a cracking day, it was great to see the lads again. So yeah, really enjoyed it and hopefully, you know, can get out more and meet up more at some point if this, if this fucking coronavirus is piss off. <laughs> yeah, I'm just drinking my tap, I've only just got up. Uh, it's a Saturday morning hence the tea rather than a beer but yeah I'm, I'm just going to show you these pickups and then I'm going to my lockup. I'm going to spend the day at my lockup. really need to get that sorted it's absolutely it's like bombs dropped in there so <laughs> uh, I've still got that bookcase that I, I, I've snaffled from work still got that to build up I'm not looking forward to that I'm not really into putting putting shelves up I know I had to put a load of shelves up uh, when I first got my lock up, uh, that was exciting back then. This is more of a job because <laughs> like, oh, I've, I've still got it to do. Um, but yeah, and then hopefully I, I can start displaying stuff better in that shelf. That, excuse me, I, I, I am thinking that bookcase is just going to be like a, a display cabinet just for subsets and stuff like that, collections. Um, I've had to move a few things around, uh, but that, that, that's for another video. Um, Set me on another drink of my tea. Actually, I haven't even woke up properly yet. Um, and I'm quite late getting up actually. Um, I'm on I'm on a stint of 12 days off, so as as each day goes on, I tend to be sleeping in longer and longer. So let's get on to the pickups. Now it would probably make more sense to show you the pickups that I've just got from that video montage. However, how I've got them all piled up next to me is in reverse order. 
So what I'm gonna do is, first of all, I'm gonna show you what I've done for me subset, called subset. I believe I, f I found the definitive list of all the CODs, all the systems. The, on the only ones, obviously, that are missing are gonna be the mobile games. I can't collect them. So, but these are physical releases. I have found out that there is like big, big collector packs and stuff like that. And not just for Xbox, but for PlayStation, PC, so, and, and sometimes even PS3, Xbox 360, PS4, Xbox One, and PC5. And, and they're, they're like 60, 70 pounds for all. Still, I've, you know, I started it, so I'll finish it in time. But, um, but yeah, I know, I know some people, you could say, well, just, just get one, you know, and then at least you've got one of something. But now that the, um, the OCD and me can't do that, I'm afraid I have to have every single individual item, every format. Anyway, right, let's get on. I'll show you the first one, which was a bit of a cock-up. Now, I'm collecting for the Blast subset on PS2, formerly Mastertronic, as you know. And one of the games is Wacky Racers. I've got it saved in my eBay saved list. And come up with a little blue dot next to it. Clicked on it. Sure enough, there was. And it was really cheap. And I thought, I'm going to have that. It would have buy it now. It was about three pound, um, and I snapped it up. And when I opened it, um, I realised it's the wrong one. I just didn't look. Uh, this is Wacky Racers with Dick Dastardly and Mutley, but it's the Infograms version. It's not the Blast one. However, all is not lost because I don't actually own this. So it's still good. It's still good for my collection, um, but it's not good for the Blast collection, obviously. So that's dastardly and muttly wacky racing. And then I saw this. Um, I thought, to be honest, um, when Ross sent me those um, Call of Duties on the Mac, I thought that that must be it. There can only be them three. Um, but it turns out I've actually found something else and it, it, it came as a two pack, the, the, the auction but it's this, it's Call of Duty but it's in it's in the big box that said big box, I'm, I'm thinking it's just a standard size box but um, it's all there, I'm not going to open it up and show you inside but there is a, the, there's the Call of Duty in there and the, the instruction manual um, but yeah, this is a this is a box cardboard box variant. Um, I've got this with it. No interest in this whatsoever. Command and Conquer Generals for the for the Mac. So to, to be honest, eBay it on it's only going to get me a couple of pound if that. So I'll probably just I'll probably just keep hold of it and put it in storage somewhere. Who knows? Maybe one day it might be worth somewhere. <laughs> so. Speaking of Blast, the next one I got was Paddington Bear and yeah, it's all complete. Like I have said to you before, Blast is primarily kids games, cartoon games, you know, I mean the proper licenses, uh, you know, it's not like it's Raddington Bear or <laughs> or Paddington Fox. Um, no, it's they are proper licenses, but yeah, they're they're a bit naff the games, in all honesty. That's Paddington Bear. Then got Mr. Bean. Slightly more expensive this one, I think about $5.99. Um and that was the cheapest one going at, at the time. So I mean, you look at you look at these graphics, and they're really not don't do the PS2 justice. They're very simplified games, just complete. 
Next we've got Waterhorse Legend of the Deep. I haven't took the stickers off yet. Maybe sure I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take that one off actually. Ross Records pre-owned, I probably will. Um, you know, it's not an original sticker. Um, all their screenshots uh, seem very dark and, and, and you know, not very clear. But uh, it's, it's hard to tell what kind of games you know, the, these really are. Um, yeah, it's complete. Water horse. Was that based on a film? If I'm not mistaken. Can't remember. So, another eBay purchase. Uh, this is going to the Commodore 64 and it's part of the Americana uh, subset that I'm doing and I think this were about a tenner that come up come up with a with a thing rare you know in big capital letters rare <laughs> and there were, there were there were a couple of others on, on for sale as well so no not rare and at 9.99, I think it was 9.99. That's not a rare price, really. Even so, um, it was the cheapest one uh, going. This is Moonshot. So, cannot tell you what kind of game it is because there's no screenshots. As with these Americana labels, you just get like a description at the back. Yeah, but yeah, it's one I didn't own. I, I don't know exactly how close to a full C64 set of Americana I am away because um, I, I did find a list and certain titles just never come up. Um, I've got them saved under C64, CBM64, Commodore 64. They're never coming up. And when I've searched for them on like Spectrum, they're coming up every time. So, just like the, the Silverbird range, I am wondering if certain titles weren't available for Commodore 64, but I've no way of cross-checking that. So, it's probably one of these, I'm never going to know, because how can you ever be sure? Um, I, I mean, I did, we did, I did cross-check with the Silverbird. How did I cross-check that? Now, to be honest, I think I think a lot of the Silverbird, I just looked and, and if nothing came up, I, or through Google, or I, I did the Google search as well. So I maybe have to do that with the Americana range and, and find out because, like I say, it may be that I'm pretty close to a full set with these. There might not have been that many because the list isn't that long anyway. So if, if a lot of them are on the Spectrum or Amstrad, then it could be that, yeah, I'm pretty close. I know there's a, there is two, but they're pretty pricey at a minute. There's Pacos Pete uh, and Fearless Fred. Um, and I can get hold of them, but like I said, they're, 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 you know, they're, they're at least £25. Um, I might have to bite the bullet and pay it at some point, but we'll, we'll see. Anyway, that's Moonshot. So, right, I think we are now done with like eBay and stuff and now we're moving on to the, the day that I met up with Pete and Eddie. And Eddie had one for me in his, in his bag. We had, had a good look through it and came across this on the PS3, which is Mod, Mod Nation Racers. <laughs> so... I think it is more cartoony, um, like a kart racer maybe. But yeah, it look, looks fun. Uh, it's complete. Mod Nation Racers on the PS3. So I can't remember which shops I bought all games from. Um, but in fact, I think this was Entertainment Station. Pretty sure it was. And as part of the COD subset uh, on the PS Vita. Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified. Now, the Vita is one system I don't actually own. 
and um, we're on about this in, in one of the WhatsApp groups and Eddie was saying you need to get one, you need to get one, the, the, the brilliant. So I don't know if it should come with instructions, it can't come with any, pretty sure it should. Uh, but yeah, um, I thought yeah, I need Vita actually. Um, and the missus is going to buy one for my birthday, I said I know what you can buy me for my birthday. Because uh, I've got the PS5 for Christmas. Um, she's like, what, already? She says, not, we haven't even got a Christmas out of the way yet. She says, yeah, I won't mind a Vita. So she's going to buy me a PS Vita for, for my birthday. Ah, right, where did I get these from? Could have been... S no, I don't see X. Same again, it could have been Entertainment Station. The first game is the Legend of K. I I picked this up because I thought it were, I think it was relatively cheap and it looks good and I know that I didn't have it. Um it's like a cat I think. I think you'll control a cat. Cat. K cat. Complete. So it's just just part of my normal collection, my normal PS2 collection. Um, I did have this, however, it was Eddie that, that picked it out. Because we were like, oh, you want rare? I said, no, I've, I've got it. And but you haven't got this. No, I, I've got it. I'm sure I've got it. Like, no, no, look at cover. <laughs> it's one of those um, lenticular covers. It's really cool is that, I really like that. I don't know if it's picking it up. But yeah, it is. Some of those lenticular ones. And I thought, no, you're right, I ain't got that. And it is nice and complete. Uh, Rayman 3, Hoodlum Havoc. Hoodlum Havoc. And that's a quite a weighty instruction book like that, and quite thick for a PS2. Never really been into Rayman, if I'm honest. I remember playing it on the on the PlayStation One, the original PlayStation One. But um, after that, I never really found a love for it. So all these spin-offs, never played. They might be all right, but I've I've just never got around to, to playing them or, or had a desire to play them. Um, this one took me eye, caught me eye. This is Virtual Cop Elite Elite Edition, I'm going to say Elite Force. Um, combining both of the hugely popular Virtual Cop titles, Virtual Cop Elite Edition brings a huge amount of firepower and gameplay to PlayStation 2. I don't know, is it, is it a separate game from the Virtual Cop? Is it added levels? I don't understand what that means. Um, but it's nice and complete. Again, this is just for my normal PlayStation 2 collection, just randomly picking games out. Uh, same again, I can't remember which shop I got this from. Um, the, these were relatively cheap, I believe, maybe a couple of pounds. Cow the Kangaroo Round 2. I do have Cow the Kangaroo 1, I think. Sure of it. Because I, I had to check because I thought, I'm sure I've got Cow. It's the first one. Grab your boxing gloves and get ready to rumble. I think it's a platformer. I think it's, uh, you know, I think some developers are like, like, right, what, what animals aren't being used yet? We've had foxes, we've had, we've had hedgehogs, we've had uh, bandicoots. I know, a kangaroo. <laughs> we haven't had a kangaroo yet. Cow the kangaroo. Complete. Okay, never play the cows, cow kangaroo. Am I saying it right? Cow, 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 <laughs> cow. Uh, next we've got Monster Trucks Extreme Arena Edition. Um, basically just you know four big 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 trucks, four before monster trucks, uh, top bombing around dirt tracks and what have you. And 
that was complete. Oh, it, um, of course, that's what that's what made me look. It's a Phoenix title. Now, now I said I'm not collecting Phoenix, and I'm not. I've stopped collecting Phoenix as such, but. Whenever there's a cheap enough game that is Phoenix, I will, I will pick it up um, over something else. Gotta do, aren't you? So, two, two items next that are part of the Call of Duty subset. If I'm not mistaken, then it is the full tool for that system. I'm not sure if there's any more on it. Retro Bear actually told me how many were for Wii and for Wii U, and I, I forgot. Um, but anyway, this is first one. It's Call of Duty Ghost. It's on the Wii U. Really good series of Ghost. My kind of game. It's not. Well, it's not silly. It's uh, Tango or any silly weapons and what have you. It's just um, modern day stuff. Now, uh, it come with an instruction, but it's just come with that like. Safety leaflet, quick, quick guide. So I don't know if that's the proper one, but, but I never, I don't think I ever set out for this subset to be fully complete. It'd be nice if they are complete, but I don't think I ever set out to have them complete. I mean, it's just a case of having, having each title. Call of Duty Ghosts on the Wii, and then the next Wii one is Call of Duty Black Ops Two. This one uh, features the zombies uh, version. Yeah, I'm not bothered about zombies in, in Call of Duty game, to be honest. They're on about introducing uh, zombies into Warzone. I'm not, really not a big fan of that. You uh, so this, see, this is a, I'll say a quick guide, but it, it does seem to have like, it's only two pages. <laughs> but it is. Uh, to me, it is a manual. It is an instruction leaflet. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 on the Wii U. To excuse me if I sound a bit bunged up and, and I'll, I'll sniffle it. I think I'm coming down with cold. Um, PlayStation 2 COD. Because even though I've already got them in, in my normal collection, I want them separately. And <coughs> this one, it would, it would I think it were a quid. And obviously it's Call of Duty Finest Hour. This one is complete. As you can see. So that's that. Nothing nothing special to say about that. It is what it is. And what did I buy this? Oh no, I didn't buy this. No, 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 no. I've got it wrong. So <clears throat> Eddie came with a big bag from Retro Kit and a PlayStation 2 games. Um, a, you know, obviously a lot of them I did have. Um, but well, these two, that is one Call of Duty Finest Hour. So thank you very much, Retro Kit, for that. <coughs> I do apologise again, mix it out. It's been that long since, it's uh, been a couple of weeks since we last went and. I have tried to keep them separately actually, I've been stacking them like that, um, so I know what, what's what and I've just remembered, this is, these are from Retro Kit, so Call of Duty Finest Hour, and then we've got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4, so this is one of the Tony Hawk's uh, games in, in the series that I didn't have, um, and it were, in, it were in the big bag of PS2 games, I think Pete took, took a couple as well. So, uh, thank you very much, Retro Kit. Nice little additions to the, well, this is to my PS2 collection and Call of Duty to the COD subset. So, oh, oh. so all is good. Right, back to the shops. Now we went into Game and Movie, some Hollywood Game and Movie, something like that. I can't remember the name of it. This one we're on. We're in Sheffield. The, fir the main bulk of the, the, the shops I went in were in Rotherham. And by crikey how that's changed um, when I used to go when I was a lad to what it is now. 
Uh, <laughs> sorry Robin, but it's a shit hole. Um, but yeah, we, then we went, went on to game and more, movie and game, something like that. And I don't know why I had it in my head that it was like uh, a, big, a biggish store, you know, um, quite modern looking and probably like a CEX. Uh, it was nothing like <laughs> it was a tiny shop, um, but it, it, it's a, it's a, it's a collector's paradise, and yeah, it, it, it had everything. And Pete got got himself an Atari seven thousand eight hundred seventy eight hundred, I believe it was. Uh, got a nice deal with that. Um, Eddie were humming and ahhing about a Dreamcast game. Um, Trouble war, the disc was scratched to hell, and Eddie kept, you know, he, he, he was haggling him, trying to haggle him down. This bloke, he just won't budge. And Eddie really was torn between getting getting the game, risking that it worked, um, because it was cheaper than, than what he could get it elsewhere, he said. So, but he, I don't think he didn't, he didn't get it. I'm sure he decided not to get it and not take the risk. I think it was. 36 pounds or something like that. Still a lot of money, still a lot of money when you're taking a risk on, on, on the, the disc uh, working. And I think they said they had a, a disc cleaner but it won't work in. And it just won't budge. It just would not budge this blow. As you'll see a little bit later on. Anyway, I, I got, I spent a bit of money in there because I thought, right, I'm gonna go through the A's, I'll pick up as many A's as I can in, you know, in the, for my, play, for my PlayStation 2 collection going through the letters. So anyway, the first one is Army Men RTS, Real Time Strategy. So I suppose it's like um, a Command and Conquer type game um, using the Army Men franchise. Real Combat, Plastic Men. Um, obviously it's complete um, it won't it won't expensive won't expensive I'll tell you the expensive games <laughs> but I can't, I can't remember exactly how much of the war but and this was one of them now the ace combat series for the ps2 they're, they're holding a, a fair price I think this was 15 pound but yeah, this is squadron lead. I don't have this one. I think I've only got one other Ace Combat um, game from the series, the Namco games. I think that's why they hold the price a little bit. There's about four or five in the series, and, and they're all quite quite weighty titles, uh, price wise. Oh, um, I got Call of Duty 2, the big red one. Um, this was cheap, this was about a pound. This is for the subset. Purely so I don't have to take any out of my, my main collection. And Call of Duty 3 on the PS2 for the subset. Now I've been I've been hovering over this on, on eBay for a while. Um now Eddie Eddie what well, insisted I could get it cheaper. And yeah, I probably, I probably could, but I had the money and I thought, you know what, I'm going to grab it. Um, about £12, I think this was. Well, 50, oh, it was 15 and I could, I could have got it for 12 on eBay. I thought, you know what, why not? Activision Anthology. So blast back to the 80s with Activision Classic Games from the Atari 2600. Um, but yeah. But like I said, I've been on it, it's been in my saved list uh, on eBay. It's in really nice condition. Uh, I made sure everything was complete. And yeah, that's Activision. Over 45 radical games in one. Were there any radical games in the, on the 2600? <laughs> Next, I think this, this one overly uh, expensive. Maybe five, five pounds, eight pounds. One of them figures seems to ring a bell. This is Altered Beast. It's got all, uh, it's got all 3D. I'm not even sure it's a one-on-one -on -one fight. I'm, I'm not sure. 
but it's um, obviously been reworked for the PS2 nice and complete altered based a classic classic game I'm dropping my tea no I don't but it'll be cold huh oh cold <laughs> crikey uh, another one I've been been looking at it for ages and it's a sports title but it was actually coming up at you know about seven and eight pounds and I thought I'm not going to pay that for a sports title and I think I think it was five pounds in, in, in five or six pounds and again you know I thought sod it I, I might as well get it um, and it's All Star Baseball 2004. I think I have the 2003 version. But 2004 uh, just kept eluding me. Mainly because I'm being tight. <laughs> I'm a Yorkshire man. I'm bound to be tight. All Star Baseball 2004 featuring, featuring Derek Jetta. Never heard of it. Uh, we're down to the last two games. Uh, as you, like I said, they're all on the A's. And I, I saw that, I thought this looks pretty uh, fun. And it, when Eddie he says, uh, oh, it's a golf game. Like, it's a golf game. He'll come back and it is. <laughs> but to look at it, front front, you, you won't believe so. This is Aqua Teen Hunger, Teen Hunger Force. Aqua Teen Hunger Force, Zombie Ninja Pro Am. Like I said, you would not think that were a golf game from from I wouldn't have anyway. It's got it's got a sword on it, you know, and it's like a like a space invader alien. But it is, it's a golf game. Crazy. It's nice and complete. I love that instruction book <laughs> being a golf master. Like it's hand drawn. Um but yeah. So that's another A. Okay, we're about six or seven pound. Oh, yeah, I picked two Ace Combats up. Um, this one was probably the more expensive of the two. Ace Combat, the Balkan War. And yeah, I thought I might as well get it. But I've got the money. Um, every, every week I do save a little bit, uh, what I call the console fund and obviously the longer I save it up the more I have to spend um, although I still spend um, anyway <laughs> we have a console fund but I usually use the console fund for events um, it just helps out and that's complete so yeah I, got a, I says to the wife I'm going to use my console fund uh, and splash out a little bit this is Ace Combat the Balkan War so that, that is it for games, but while we were in this um, game and movie store I saw something and I thought I've seen that before and I remember seeing it at Doncaster Video Game Market because I nearly bought it there uh, earlier this year and to be honest um, I don't know why I didn't buy it back then I bought it for the same price, it would not budge on the price it was £60 and it's this PlayStation 1, but it's it's custom painted. That is unique, it's unique. Uh, we've got Crash Bandicoot on one side, and we've got Rayman on the other. Um, pretty much all the way around, obviously, control ports. And for some reason, the, the little flap at the back's just in uh, normal colour. But, it's, it's fantastic, even the base is sprayed. Um, absolutely love it. And like I said, it's, I mean, it was just this unit, no leads with it or anything. No controller. It's a shame they want like a, a custom control to match. But, even so, I mean, it's nice and clean. Oh, it's even, it's even sprayed inside. <laughs> That's fantastic, I never noticed that. Um, but yeah, this is a one of a kind. One of a kind, and it's and it's it's done really well. It's not like my kind of drawings uh, art, which have looked shite. <laughs> I'm not very artistic, 
but this has been done really well. Like I said, I tried, I tried knocking him down, but he won't have it. He says, to be honest, to say, I'm not even bothered about selling it. To be honest, if if I don't sell it, I don't sell it. It's it, it's a nice piece, so he he weren't going to budge. But I thought, you know what? It would be actually. He says, go on, get it. You you know you want it, just get it. So I did. Uh, yeah, I took it off his hands and it was probably gutted actually himself, but serves him right, doesn't it? <laughs> For being awkward. Anyway, I, I love it, absolutely love it. I never use it, um, it's just a showpiece. Uh, I, I'm assuming it works, <laughs> I don't even know if it works. Um, I haven't tested it yet. Oh, just notice that lumper, lumper on the front. I love it. So that, that is it um, from the most recent pickups. Whew, what have I got? I have got a couple of games uh, that I've bought and I do believe, I do believe I've completed the Blast subset. I need to double check, triple check, quadruple check, uh, even though I have been doing already actually. Um, but I do think I've, I've got the full set now and after I've done my checks, when these games come in, if if I do if I do feel that I have got a, a full subset, then I'll I'll show you it. I'll do a separate video on it, and I'll show you. Excuse me, I need to make me send another cup of tea now because that's got cold. <laughs> hey dear, and then I need to get to my lockup and get cracking. There is a couple of days, um, like on my last days off. Uh, I uh, just couldn't be bothered, I just sat on cod all day. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I really do need to get to my lock up. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do. Today and tomorrow, two full days at it. So I may even have a little vlog. Uh, I haven't done a vlog for ages, have I, with me, with me lock up. So perhaps, perhaps I'll do a little vlog as well. Anyway, uh, I'm starting to ramble and yeah, this has been my pickups, latest pickups. Hope you enjoyed it. and. Uh, stay tuned uh, to something else, whatever I do. <laughs> Take care everyone, see you later.